Hey guys, Asian Kyle here, bringing you a first impressions of this little guy. Hinder Investigator Pin. I picked this pin up on Friday and I've just been using it a little bit ever since, uh, just as part of my everyday carry rotation and, uh, and I gotta say, so far I really like it. We'll start off by kind of looking at the packaging here. It uh, just comes in this pretty generic plastic bag with uh, Hinderer's paper on the inside displaying the product, the barcode on the back. One thing I really like about just the packaging is that the paper does fill up the entire bag. Uh, this showcases the product really, really well and, and overall just the presentation of it's really nice. And then on the back, that sticker is pretty well centered. He doesn't have to do that, but I know they have to do them by hand, so the fact that it is for the most part centered just shows that they care a little bit more about the packaging. Uh, so it means they care about their product as well. So. Anyways, let's get this thing out of the packaging since we're not here to talk about the packaging. I'm just going to talk about the product a little bit. Overall, the dimensions on this beautiful thing is 4.375 inches long and 0.375 inches in diameter. So, One thing to note was whenever I was looking and getting this pin, I had a really hard time understanding exactly how big and small it really is. So, I'm just going to bring a couple objects in here to give you a size comparison. There it is against a Sharpie. So you can see here. There we go. Sharpie is a bit longer than it. And then I think probably the best comparison is this little Bic mechanical pencil. So uh, the pencil is much longer than the pen, of course, but as far as the diameter goes, it's much, much closer. So it, it almost feels like you're holding this pencil when you're writing with this pen more than anything. So the weight on it is 1.4 ounces. And I gotta say, it's a really heavy 1.4 ounces. It just it feels more substantial in hand whenever I hold this versus when I hold my Sabenza, which is odd since the Sabenza weighs more than the pen does. Uh, the pen also takes a Spacer or Fisher Space Refill cartridge, which is right in here. It comes with a bolt, and uh, and I really like the bolt actually. It it's a lot thinner than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna be, as the name says, bold. Uh, the pin also came with this little rubber o-ring inside the bag and I went ahead and I put this on the tip there so that when we screw on the cap it's easy and then we start to get a little bit pressure right or pressure right there and that just prevents the cap from wanting to rotate off by itself <clears throat> when we're walking around and whatnot. Overall the machining on this is done really really nicely. Uh, the marks that you see on the cap right there were done by me when I was attempting to take uh, the pocket clip off because I bent it just a little bit too much and, uh, and I did that to no avail. So the Loctite they're using on this thing is done really, really well and it was not wanting to come off. So, But back to the machining, I've been really, really impressed with it so far. Everything on there is just done really nicely. The lines are nice and clean, um, especially the threads here. Let me see if I can get this to zoom in a little bit better. There we are. The threads on this thing are done really, really nicely. Uh, even the threads on this little guy in here, also done very, very nicely. And uh, since we're just kind of looking at this little end piece right here, this little guy is it is sharp, um, but it's not going to rip your skin open sharp, as you see me doing this to my thumb. Yeah, but it will cause damage if you if you do decide that you have to use it in a in a defensive role. So. Just be aware of it. I wouldn't advise reaching into your pocket and jamming it into your hand or anything because that would hurt quite a bit. But the only flaw I found in, uh, in the machining of the threads is actually inside the cap right here. Right there. And when we rotate it to the other side, the threads are all absolutely perfect. So, yeah, just that little spot right there. This doesn't prohibit the, uh, the threads from working the way they should or anything. And, uh, and you really don't notice. It's just something that I saw. The pocket clip appears to be titanium, which is pretty cool since Hinder is known for his uh, re or frame lock titanium. And, uh, and the retention on it was really good. Uh, it did come firmly pressed against the, uh, against the cap like that and I was unable to even get in into my pocket. So I had to bend it out just a little bit. I kind of wish it was made of stainless steel just because they could have made it a little thinner and, uh, and the tension wouldn't have been so hard, but it also would have sprung back a lot easier, so. 
just look at this machining. Overall, guys, I'm really, really impressed with this pen. It, it does write very, very well, and uh, and it is small. It is really small. Let me get this to zoom differently now. There we are. It is really, really small. Um, oops, wrong one. As I did in a comparison against just this big mechanical pencil, so. I, I wear large gloves because of my fingers, and uh, as you see here, it is just a little bit longer than my middle finger, or I guess inch and a half, inch and a quarter longer than my middle finger. But when you put it in hand, it, it goes up to about right there. So I don't find the pen is too short. I don't find it being too long. It's actually really, really comfortable. Um, the only form of hot spots that it forms is if you really dig your finger into a into the milling up here or whenever you rotate the pin the cap ends up getting into your palm right there next to your thumb. Other than that the pin is really comfortable to write with over long periods of time. It is really heavy feeling though like I said earlier. Uh, that doesn't really bother me at all since it actually feels like I've got something in my hand. But Eventually whenever this uh, ink cartridge runs out I'm going to be replacing it with just a medium instead of a bold again just to kind of give that a try. So. Overall guys, I really do enjoy this pen a lot. It's, uh, it's found its way into my rotation. But this is just my first impressions. I'll be doing a video later on of how it starts to wear and tear a little bit over time. So, Anyway guys, Asian Kyle signing off, bringing you the Hinderer Investigator Pen in Stainless Steel.